In a previous video, I showed you how to connect to local models that you've downloaded using Misty and how to connect with them with the VS Code Copilot. If you want to explore other options that also help assist you with coding and even are able to get into agentic coding for all you Vibe coders, there is another option that you may want to look at, which is called RuCode. RuCode is a popular open source extension in VS Code and other IDEs as well. It allows you the capability to finer tune your models so that you're really getting the agents, the assistant for coding that you want. To install the RuCode extension, click on the extensions tab, type in Ru, and then it'll come up and then install it. After it's installed, you'll see it show up on the left bar here, a little kangaroo icon. In the settings area is where we can connect Ru to the models that we've downloaded using Misty. I'm going to create a new configuration profile, click on that plus icon, and let's enter a profile name for this. I'll call it Misty, and then click on Create Profile. Then the next thing that we'll want to do is select the API provider. And this is where I could use everyone's help. If you click on the drop down right now, you're not going to see Misty listed, but I have sent in a feature request for the team to add in Misty as a drop down selection. And I'm going to provide a link to the bottom of this YouTube video. If you all could go to the link and one up the request on GitHub, I would super appreciate it. There's nothing I would love more than to redo this video where Misty is an option for the API provider. But in the meantime, the workaround is to scroll down and then select Olama. Similar to the GitHub Copilot video, what we need to put in here is the base URL that either Misty app is using or Misty sidecar is using. And let's quickly show you where you can find those in either Misty app or Misty sidecar. First, let's go to Misty app. In Misty app, you're gonna click on remote model provider, click on local AI, and then this is the URL that you want to fetch right here. So just click on copy local URL. And then back here, go ahead and paste it in. Just ensure that there's no forward slash at the end of this. You just wanna end with the actual port number. And once you do that, you can see that all the models that I have installed on my local device show up here as options. Now to do the same for Misty Sidecar, find Misty Sidecar and then click on local AI settings and then click on copy local AI service endpoint. And then you can paste that in there. And again, make sure there's no forward slash at the end. And now we can select which model that we want to use. Um, let's go ahead and click on Quinn 3, the latest. And if you scroll down, there's some more configuration options, like for precision, for rate limit, for using a custom temperature. Well, let's go ahead and at the very top, click on Save, and then click on Done. Okay, now at the very bottom, we could see a couple options. One is Ask, and if you click on that, you could toggle between different modes. And also what we can see here is the new Misty profile that we created. I think what we're gonna do right now is let's go ahead and just ask a question, make sure it works. Okay, we see Quinn is thinking about the question and then is providing a response. And that's great, now we have another option for using local models that we've installed using Misty, using RuCode.